Hello friends, um, today I want to come on here and just be very raw with you guys. Excuse the fact that I just got out of the shower and that my cheeks are so rosy, but I always like to make these videos where I come on here and I let you guys see side of me that is part of my everyday life. Part of me that, you know, is just the raw me. It's just, you know, that I let you guys know I'm just an everyday normal person that I hurt, that I laugh, that I cry, that I scream, that I, you know, just have a life and that it's not about the makeup, it's not about you know, living this perfect lifestyle on YouTube. And I've always wanted my channel to be raw and real, and that's how I am in, in person as well. And that's what I always hope to portray. Um, and I've learned a lesson today, guys. And um, I told myself I have to let my viewers know this. I have to let my teen mom moms know this. It is so near and dear to my heart that I have to come on here and tell you guys what I'm feeling and just let you guys know what's on my heart today. A past month, I've actually been leaving my house and if you don't know what I mean by that is, um, so for like the past year, I've actually been in a deep, deep hole mentally. Um, and of course I looked fine to a lot of people and actually like if you check out my YouTube channel I was very honest and raw with you guys throughout my YouTube channel and I swear I hated myself for a little bit because everything was just so depressing on here like I would tell you guys but I would be honest with you guys like I would tell you guys whenever I'm having a rough day or whenever I'm having a bad week I would let you guys know like I never ever tried to hide the fact that I was having a rough moment in my life and I kind of hated myself for it but I don't anymore because I'm like that was who like that's what you were really feeling the past month I've actually been working and I've been you know having a life outside of being a mom and and that's kind of weird for me and for a while I found myself like whenever I first started working I found myself like I would meet people and I'd be like hi my name is Leslie I'm a teen mom like it was just like I had to let people know that I was a teen mom and I like wouldn't realize that I was like saying that and I'm just like Leslie you are a mom like you're a mom what do you mean you're a teen mom like I get it, like, my age does not define that I'm a different type of mom. Um, and I would always catch myself saying that, like, hi, like, I have two kids, I'm a teen mom, I'm 19, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was just, like, me having, like, and it wasn't that people, like, would, like, ask me or something like that. Like, I would say it, I felt like I had to say it. And um, I think it was just the fact that I would tell people back then, like, in the past, and they would be like, oh my gosh, like, what's wrong with you? What, you know, what happened in your past? It was just like something like that. And for a while now, like, I'll let people know, like, you know, I'm a teen mom. I had my first child at 13 and my second child at 16. And like, I just, I don't know why I had to let people know. And um, today, actually, I was at work and one of my coworkers, um, I was letting her know, like, I was asking her about her life. And then um, I'm like, you know, I have two kids, right? And then she's like, yeah. And like, we started talking about like our lives. And I told her that I had, you know, my first kid at 13 and my second kid at 16. And then that I had, that I graduated and I got a high school diploma, but it was a year late. And it was, it's like, I was explaining to her all these joys in my life, but then I had to like, I, I, I was like, no, you can't go that high because I don't know, like, it was just like, hey, I have two kids that are my joy and my, like, they are my drive every single day, but I had my, like, I, I, I'm a teen mom. Like, if, you know, does that make any sense? Or, like, I would be like, hey, I graduated high school with two kids, uh, you know, but it was a year late. It was just kind of like everything, I, I just heard myself, like, I would speak and I would hear. And it was like everything that I said, I couldn't be good enough for myself and it made me sad and then like, like this girl like my coworker, she's so sweet and then she like she looked at me she's like let you are boss like you are doing it like she just encouraged me and she just let me know that I am doing it like I am taking care of my kids my kids 
are taken care of. And they have a great mom. And it just felt really good to know that today. And she hasn't been the only one that's told me, but I think she, like, I think I actually got it today. Because, like, so many people have told me, Leslie, you are amazing. What you're doing is great. But I noticed today that everything I've accomplished, I am so proud of myself for that. But there's always a but. And it's something that I've put on myself. And I've always said that we are our worst enemy sometimes. Like, we spend so much of our lives blaming others. But in reality, like, we've done so much more damage to ourselves than probably anybody has. And I can sit here and say that to myself. Like, People would tell me great things about myself all the time, but I will just put myself down. So, this video is for my teen moms out there. <sighs> the fact that you're a teen doesn't define what kind of mom you are. You don't have to explain yourself for all those bad teen moms out there. Who just you know leave their kids not have to explain yourself you don't have to prove yourself to anybody because there's bad moms too and regular moms who are not teen moms do not have to sit there and explain themselves for bad moms in general so being a teen mom does not define what kind of mom you are if you get up every single day and you strive to be a better person. You get up every single day. You work your butt off for those kids. Or that kid. Love those kids. I don't know what you're struggle struggling with. I don't know what you're struggling with. I know that I was struggling with mental health. Still am sometimes. Still do a lot of the time. You know, it might be financially know what it is I don't know what you're struggling with it might be your anger but that doesn't define you the fact that you think that you need to better yourself and you do it every single day makes you great mom whether you're an illegal teen mom I can relate to that and I don't know what you're doing to help out your family, I don't know. Maybe you're cooking a plate of food, selling those, I don't know what you're doing. But I can relate. The food in your children's belly, putting a roof under their head. Being an illegal teen mom does not define what kind of mom you are. You are a great mom. Whether you are a teen mom who grew up in an abusive household, I can relate too. You know, maybe you had your kid because you wanted to love somebody. Because you'd never even thought you knew what love was. Maybe because you told yourself you're going to give that baby a better life than what, you know, your abusive parent did or abusive, what you know, whatever they were to you. That doesn't define what kind of parent you are. And there where I've let my past get and affect the way I treat my children. But I aim every single day to better myself, better my attitude, better me. And if you better yourself every single day and that's your goal, you're a great mom. To the mom who had to maybe leave your baby daddy because he wasn't treating you right. I can relate that all those years that you fought to try to get that relationship to, to be a good one, you are a great mom. A teen mom who, they don't feel good enough. They don't feel worthy enough of being loved. They feel like they should settle for anything that they can. You are worthy. You are worthy of being loved and cared for and taken care of. And so do your kids. Keep going. Just know we all change. We all change. We all struggle. We all fall. Pick yourself back up. To any 
mom out there who's a teen, keep going. Life will get better. From a teen mom who has struggled and <sighs> has been through hell and back. And I know there's out there's moms out there who are teens who have gone through far worse than what I've gone through. But I've lived my hell and I don't know what hell you've lived. Maybe you didn't live any hell. Don't know. But it gets better. Remember, we do this for our babies. We do this so they can grow up and have a better life than what we lived. Hope you guys know my heart and my love behind this video. I just really thought that I needed to come on here and express that to you guys. Love you guys, and if you know a teen mom, share this video with them. Have a great day. Love you guys.